why ashes of creation is going to fail this recording is to warn everybody that ashes of creation is likely extremely likely to fail <clears throat> so I'm going to go to a video that I watched this morning and I'm going to rewatch it with you guys and I'm going to pause and I'm going to, uh, to give my point of view on Ashid of Creation. Uh, I was planning not to have a camera in here uh, so that like you guys can see my entire screen and also my, uh, my lighting and overall camera setup is not that good. Um, however, I'm a just I'm now a big YouTuber and I don't have all the resources, so I'm gonna leave it like this. I hope that don't uh, bother you guys if you have an AD, ADHD or whatever about having a perfect camera setup. I hope uh, my setup isn't bothering you. Um, the overall reason why you should be here is not for graphics, it should be for uh, to watch and get inform informed pretty much. So I'm going to look up the uh, the video that I watch, Ashes of Creation Cosmetic. Uh, cosmetic, uh, uh, Ashes of Creation Cosmetic Issues, sorry, I was reading the uh, title of other videos, and, uh, Issues and, hold up, Issues and, uh, Important, I guess let's just search that okay issues and improvement my bad uh, the text the title was too long anyways this here is about so guys this is a casual video um, I'm not a uh, pretty good with uh, YouTube stuff but this here is like a pretty much like a reaction video and I'm gonna add my own point to it so bear along with me um it doesn't seem like like the overall like presentation doesn't look that great but the information that i'm going to share with you guys is is very very crucial so i want you guys to to just bear with me okay all right so All right, guys, it's Jalan, and today i'm going to talk about ashes of creation and i know i haven't made ashes of creation content in a while this is really the video I've wanted to make, but I've been holding off making this video, hoping Intrepid Studios would do the right thing. Guys, this guy is uh, Paradise Gaming, Paradise Gaming Network. If you'd like to subscribe to him, go ahead and subscribe to him. Um, anyways, as you guys can see, he is an adult, pretty much. And, I mean, like, from the looks of it, like all the tech stuff behind him, it seems like uh like he been uh, gaming from for from a while, from a long time ago. So he pretty much has a good experience. Um, I'm gonna assume a tiny bit that he has a little bit of experience uh, with uh, the gaming industry and stuff. So and he also seems uh, like an intellectual, um, just by looking at this. So, and he's a professional pretty much with YouTube and stuff. So you can see from the setup and everything. And it doesn't look like they're gonna get to the right thing anytime soon. So now I gotta vocalize my concern. So Ashes of Creation, MMORPG in development since 2017, has had an operational cosmetic cash shop since December, 2017. All right, since 2017, okay. So, 2017 to 2018, that's one year. 2018 to 2019, that's two years. 2019 to 2020, three years. 2020 to 2021, four years. 
four years so far 2021 to 2022 five years okay and ashes of creation is still in its uh i can say alpha stage pretty much um they have a beta but the beta still feels like an alpha from the review that i've been uh, watching so far now, Intrepid's going to be going with a very fair business model. They are going to be going with the idea of no box price, a $15 monthly sub, and an optional cash shop that's cosmetics only. No pay to win. They've also... $15 monthly, uh, monthly sub, okay? So, this is something that people are going to like, rectify or like... I'm When I say people, I'm talking to a... The ashes of creation fan base right now and the ashes of creation fan base is really really high on the the new term called copium um the that like it's basically like the overall sense of like copium is like it's like how you would say simp in a sense um they they are simping for the company simping for the game and no matter what the company does these guys will automatically rewire their brains to mold that into something that is like a bright, shiny, glittering uh, uh, trophy or perspectives or something um, that they should like that sh that other other games should try to like exemplify, uh, try to to copy because like what this company or what this game is doing is like so marvelous that nobody in the entire world could ever um, come close to the type of experience that the game is trying to give to them or the company is trying to give to them. So these guys who are high on copium, when they say you are high on copium, what they mean is that you think the game or the company or, or whatever, like the face behind the game is like so godlike that nobody compares to it, you know, like when you are high on copium it basically means that you shut your brain down from logic and whatever information is fair to you that's that what becomes your logic that's what becomes like your overall perspective and your way of thinking is decided by the company is decided by what they gave to you and you don't think for yourself so saying somebody is on copium pretty much is saying that they are brain dead right I'm just going to simplify it to that. So, this company, uh, I say Intrapos or whatever they call it, um, they said they have their own money. They don't need funding. And then they contradict themselves by creating a Kickstarter. The Kickstarter gets backed. Uh, I wonder if I can actually find this. Ashes of creation kick starter page. Oh, this thing is too bright. Intrapid Studio. Holy cow, dude. Holy cow. Three million. Two hundred and seventy seven thousand eight hundred and nine dollars. Three million. Let me repeat that. Three million. Okay. When World of Warcraft was being created, nobody funded World of Warcraft with three million. Okay. Uh, most of these games that were being created uh, recently, uh, oh my god, Camelot, I don't know, Camelot on, uh, on Chin or something, I don't know how much Camelot on Chin had, but there was another game again, uh, it was like a, like a Battle Royale-ish game, uh, like a MOBA mixed with a Battle Royale. And they, they like, they were teasing or stuff, or crap load of stuff, and, uh, Man, I can't even remember the name of it. Oh my god. Alright, so uh I'm sure you guys know the, the game that I'm talking about. Uh they had like uh like 
monitor type of race and the pvp was was kind of clunky and the overall control combat was a little bit clunky but it was an action combat stuff and the networking was really garbage um and the game graphics itself was was pretty unique uh, but the story there was no content like no like it was basically like a grand fest like a like a mobile mix with a battle royale like i mean when i say like a mobile mix with a battle royale you guys can already see like the the contradiction there like the uh the problem the challenges that a game is going to face in the first place right so ashes of creation however is going to mix everything up into one game three million guys this is a huge amount for any kickstarter like you make a kickstarter right now for for an indie mmo that is like that's not that big um just a simple game you want to make you will barely make 500 on it because people just i mean it's just really hard to to make a successful kickstarter in the first place but these guys are able to get three million okay their pledge goal was 750 uh dollars so let's just take the three from here three one two one two three one two three no that's that's more <laughs> okay all right that's three million right here divided by let's say 7k right that's four times okay I, I didn't even add the rest of the amount there but that's four times the, the amount that they expected right four times guys and apart from that after doing all that math after looking at the three million that they got right they are asking for what fifteen dollars monthly fee okay so after you guys have given them your three million dollars they are still asking for additional payment okay for the game now a lot of people excuse for this type of uh monetization is that uh you know the game gonna have to create more content in the future um we guys would need like updates and all that stuff trust me once a once an mmo is released the the, the most of the work is not on content most of the works goes on to balancing net code and stuff like that i'm saying this because i am a game developer myself and i'm actually working on a game myself right and the overall like research that i have done my overall experience so far especially like coming from a gaming background as well most of the content that is going to be released in the game after release or after the after in production mode is pretty much patches to the game to balance the game and make it fun for people and then content come in the future imagine like having a bunch of content pro pour into a game and none of it is balanced none of it <clears throat> and all of it has like a little bit of bugs in it right over time you will have like just a, a stack of buggy content right and nobody likes that okay especially coming from a game where they um, the developers just they don't care about the community uh perspective they just take a content and they just shove it into the game and take another content and shove it into the game and pull whatever content they want to pull out and stuff like that right i'm coming from that background so i'm going to tell you in order for uh, for an mmo to be good right most of the attention of the company that made the mmo is has to be behind balance and uh little bit of like bug fixes and and just user experience like making it fun for the user and just uh furnishing the product that they made right um so fifteen dollars monthly fee after paying three million dollars four times the expected amount i mean like this is a company guys like it's not like they just pulled that that seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars like 
they didn't just pull it out of nowhere. They actually did their calculation and they figured out like the minimum that they could, they could accept or they could use to actually complete making the game. And again, like they said, okay, the company or the head of the company, um, the, the scheme that they are going with is that the guy is like super rich and he can fund the MMO by himself, okay? He can fund the MMO by himself, but he started a Kickstarter that had like three million uh, support, three million dollar pour into it. And apart from that three million, the guy who is rich enough to support the game and actually build it from scratch all the way to the top is also asking for fifteen dollars monthly fee. Do you guys? Do you guys like? Does that like remove a little bit of copium out of your head? Like if you are like a fan, like a super hardcore fan of Azure Operation, does that like remove a tiny bit of like copium, just like a little spec? Does it remove that? Like what I explained so far. All right. So apart from that, okay, there's also going to be a cash shop. Okay. An optional cash shop. Imagine that, right? There's going to be the $15 monthly fee and then there's going to be a cash shop. And no matter which type of game it is, as long as there is a cat shop in it, there's always going to be something that people will complain about. Trust me, since decades ago, people have been experiencing this. Up to now, there is no possible, uh, like, approval or whatever or like i don't know there's like from the from the total experience that we've had like over like decades now right there is nothing to debate the fact that there is as long as there's a cash app there's going to be something that something somebody will complain about something uh something that will be uh like just out of normal with the entire game itself with the entire user experience so ashes of creation again people are going to look at it from like a god-like perspective and they are going to put all that trust into it because they are on copium again when i say copium i mean like these people are not thinking for themselves they are actually just getting whatever that is outside there like whatever somebody gave to them that's what they are using for that train of thought right these guys are not thinking for themselves they are not using logic they are just using copium as their way of survival, pretty much their survival mechanics, pretty much. Right, so Cash App connects to bad experience. And this been for like 10 years, 10 plus years now, right? Nothing changed. And why you should assume, right? This is kind of like networking, right? Um, because prediction is kind of hard. Um, the, the overall like networking system pretty much is like whatever you are doing right now is what's going to be assumed for the next frame pretty much until we get until we get the data itself to verify whatever we have uh, whatever you are doing until that moment you are you will continue to do that exact same thing right so until ashes creation of creation is released with a cash app that defies what we've experienced for 10 plus years, right? You cannot assume that a cash app will be good. In fact, you should, you should assume that a cash app is going to be bad because over 10 plus years, every single cash app has been bad, even in World of Warcraft. Okay, so Ashes of Creation is not going to, from that logic, right? From that perspective, Ashes of Creation Cash App is not going to be good. And especially if you add that to the point, uh, to the fact that the, the developer of the game, the, 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 the company owner, assumed that he is rich enough to fund this game to full completion, right? Again, full completion, right? Without any funds, okay? And then you add monthly subscription to it, like that two thing just doesn't add up. Okay. And then you add cash app to it. 
right? I'm just I'm just saying this like repeating it because this is like this is numbers, guys. We are talking about numbers. This is number game, and these guys like the way the overall like everything is being fed right now. It just doesn't make sense, and it should be something that you guys should be super cautious about because when it comes to like money game in MMOs, uh, number games in MMOs, like it's really easy for 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 people to get screwed over. All right. So, let's continue. So told us that although the things they showcase in their cash shop look really really good, that when the time comes, the Okay. So, this is this is art. Right? Um uh, again, this here is art. They were able to hire a lot of people to make a uh, beautiful art and this is theory crafting stuff a lot of people a lot of games and a lot of uh advertisement stuff um that goes out there like majority of them are all art artworks pretty much right so artworks feed into the imagination and the guys who are on copium once they see stuff like this it like the the, the copium intensifies like the level of copium kind of raises rises a little bit it increases it increases it increases it go all the way up just by looking at these things right you are pretty much saying that these guys will get high on copium a little extra they get it like an extra high every time they see stuff like this right artwork um and graphics doesn't determine the the uh, quality of the game you can have a pretty game uh very nice looking game in comparison to other games and as long as the game itself is garbage the game will not succeed but uh, will not succeed right an example of this is uh actually i'm not going to shit on any game but yeah let's just continue i don't want to shit on any any uh anybody's mmo i'm just i'm just i'm talking about ashes of creation right now and i just want to focus that full attention on the show. cosmetics that can be obtained in game are going to be on par if not better than the ones sold in the cosmetic cash shop so i do want to point out i recognize the argument of visual progression but if your concern is visual progression this is not really the video to leave that feedback you certainly can and i will answer any comment you leave but we got to kind of put the right comments on the right videos this video is designed to target the major player concern of what am I buying? Now, a lot of people in the Ashes of Creation community have accumulated a wealth of cosmetic skins, freehold skins, ship skins, lots of different things that they're going to be able to customize. From 2017 to about 2019, we were under the impression that these skins were sort of interchangeable because we were never told anything that they weren't. Now, I'm not even talking about the ship. Okay, so one of the reasons why Cash Up is bad in a, in, a, in an MMO is that it creates a fair line, like a, like a, a static line between good product and half, <laughs> I'm gonna like, all right, half made product, right? Uh, there's a well done product and then there's a product that just they were creating it and then they just say oh okay we're going to stop right here and leave it like this and then and then give it out right um this is why you see uh uh games that really have like a bad reputation uh tends to like uh sell pre-orders and stuff right it's pretty much like uh selling pre-order for like an unpolished game uh so that like as long as these people have already purchased the game once you release it it really doesn't matter what they say um in the end like their money is gone I mean their money is gone they really can't retrieve it or whatsoever right um that's that's one of the, the thing right and another thing is like creating inconvenience so that you can so people can purchase the convenience part of it right so you have like all of these uh pretty looking uh skins and like uh houses and stuff like this um in order for these to stand out right in order for the for those who are purchasing this content for it for them to like actually feel 
um, accomplish like feel as if um, their their money went somewhere right the rest of the content in the game has to be dumbed down right so if the quality of like a purchase of a purchase product like a, of a purchase house looks like this then the quality of a non purchase house has to look even worse right it has to look worse than this so that the guy who is purchasing this can feel accomplished and feel a little bit better that he has something that looks a little bit better than what is default so if that's how uh the cash up is going to be um if you are playing this game without like with just the regular monthly subscription right um i don't think that's going to cut it right you're going to have to pay extra so that you can improve the quality of the game the graphics and stuff like that so you can experience the game the way it was kind of intended for it to be experienced and again we are talking about a game that is fully funded and the owner of the game is insanely rich that he don't even need any money he don't even need any back um, backing or he don't even need any uh kickstarter whatsoever to make this game skins today where they have radically changed the naval system but that's also a concern my concern is when you make a purchase out of the ashes of creation cash shop all it says is freehold building cosmetic skin it has no indication of what you're buying all right so what he just says is that these here they are not real model they are not real models here they don't even exist in the game yet now this is what uh, uh, most of uh, Kickstarter's uh, scam. This is what they, they are they are usually. Uh, this this is what they usually do, right? Most Kickstarters that are scam. This is what they usually do, right? They show you stuff that you can purchase, like images of things that you can purchase. Like look at this car. This car look like it just got picked up from like uh, Google. Like somebody just Google a cart and just shrinked it and just put it here. Um, okay, so yeah, so they they create these stuff and they, they these images and they give it to you and you are pretty much purchasing images pretty much. This is like cryptocurrency, right? You are purchasing like fake stuff so that I don't know, I don't know what else you're gonna do with it. Like you are purchasing uh, fake stuff in hope that this stuff is going to be exactly what you get in the future this is like pretty much like pre-orders pretty much right by purchasing this you are pre-ordering something and if it is good okay if it is bad that's still okay because no matter what you do you already spend your money on it right so you have to accept it anyways and even like that's that's just considering that if it exists in the first place right you don't know if the game is going to get uh develop well enough for it to reach this point where they can actually stop worrying about designing the game itself and start worrying um start focusing on creating these models models for you guys to purchase right so a game as big as ashes of creation uh ashes of creation that has like a huge open world right um, in order for them to make every single content inside of that game and then start making your 3d models um your assets and stuff like this right um that's just gonna take a long time like just imagine that right a game as big as ashes ashes of creation is assuming that it's gonna be right. <clears throat> right so um again he's um this guy is talking about how like these guys are purchasing 25 dollars like pictures for 25 dollars pretty much these are just pictures uh, when the pictures actually is in a valid model um, it is in like a previewable content inside of the game and it, in fact it's going to take you like it's going to take even longer for these things to come out um, there are like two scenarios either it takes a long time for you to get your 3d model and accept it for the way it is or the developers can actually focus on making these 3d modules first and then it take an extra time for them to actually make the, the game itself right and ashes of creation has a, a ton of these things on sale 
like the cash app is the only thing that is well developed in the game right now right um because again they just want to sell you stuff right you are high on copium and you do, you are not you aren't using logic you aren't thinking for yourself so these guys have the opening to feed you stuff and you're just going to purchase it Right. To make matters worse, uh, Margaret Crone, the community marketing lead, stopped by my Twitch show back in February of 2021. It got a little heated because I challenged Margaret and I said, I don't think you know what these cosmetics are for. Margaret responded with, I do know what they are designed for, but before I give a full answer to all the items and their tiers, I want to finalize those details with design just waiting on approval. This will provide an update, not only in a knowledge-based article with all the answers, but also in your inventory and on the shop. That was in February of 2021. In March of 2021, Margaret says on the forums, design is super busy right now, working towards our alpha one milestones. But once they have the time to send the information over to me, I will relay that and make sure it's placed somewhere where it's easy to consume, as well as updating information in various places. Again, March 2021. Now, earlier this year, there was another concern about uh, where these cosmetics are going. And one of these gets spe spelled out. The Leyline Orrery can be placed on your house. For the others asking about clarity on a larger scale, I had a meeting with the design team the other day as they are working on further details for the Freehold system to help clarify some of the answers. And they will be sending me information. Once I receive this, I'll be working on a content update. So once I receive this, I will be working on a content update. But in February of 2021, you had the details from design and you were just waiting on approval. And now in January of 2022, you'll be working on a content update. I'm right. So you guys can see like it like from the overall perspective like what what this guy just explained i'm just gonna wrap it up um try to like summarize it uh pretty much like people are starting to ask like when they are gonna get their 3d models or when the like when these models like will be available for like preview and stuff and in february uh she said that she was just waiting for like the design details and stuff so that like the guys can actually start working on the models and stuff uh but also in your inventory and on your shop um and then in 2022 she is still waiting for those uh for those design details pretty much so that they can start working on updating and updating is pretty much the same thing as working on the 3d models right so you guys can see like how difficult it is uh, for content to be made for an MMO, right? Again, it's been five years and the game is still in, in alpha pretty much. Um, like I'm saying alpha because like most of the content that is supposed to be on beta is in there. And I'm, I'm actually probably going to show you guys another video uh, of somebody who spent $500 just to test an alpha. And <laughs> I'm going to... I'm gonna uh, probably like show you guys that video and uh, just so you guys can listen to what the person had to say about it. Um, I'm gonna anyways, be honest, I, I really am starting. This year kind of proves that these guys have zero idea of how difficult it is to make content for, for a game or to make an MMO, um, but they are just winging it in a sense. They are faking it until they make it, right? Um, if, they, if they make it in the first place. Right, they are they are faking it. It's obvious, as you guys can see in text here. Um, test your evidence. Um, they are faking it, and they don't have any idea how long it's going to take to actually make the game. But as long as they are, they have pre reps, um, they have player reps, and they have like community uh, manager who are pretty good as at like uh, not lying, but like misguiding people. Right. Um, actually yeah like there's lying and then there's like a way that you can like present information that can allow people to lie to themselves right 
Um, so what these people are doing, like, like you really can say they are lying, but they are, they are presenting information in a way that can easily misguide people. Um, but the misguidance is going to be done by themselves, right? They have to be on copium to accept these type of information and kind of like make their own imagination out of it, right? So again, like being high on copium is like the worst case scenario because like you get fed stuff like these and you you, you yourself kind of delude your own self right like they are not they are not making fun of you they are just giving you like this fake information and then you are making fool of yourself by the believing into the um believing these things and taking these things and like making your own evidence for it right so being on high on copium is like the worst the worst case scenario anybody can ever be in right Starting to feel like Intrepid Studios is picking up really bad habits of Sony Online Entertainment, BioWare, Activision Blizzard, Bethesda. It sounds like when I was bringing to light an issue back in February of 2021, I got an answer basically to calm me down and truthfully to get me to shut up. It's been now over a year since I got those answers and we still don't know what we're buying. Okay, so these guys are drawing photos and giving it to you guys like uh, like cryptocurrency and crypto uh, cryptocurrency game, NFT games or whatever they call it, um, where basically they, they, they give you like a virtual uh, like presentation where like you can buy a virtual house, you can buy a virtual landscape so that in the future when everybody is living online, and everybody bring it's like digitally like put it into the uh into the interwebs uh you'll be able to live on those lands uh, <laughs> and people are actually buy into that bro like do you want to make your own universe you don't have to pay for it right just open your computer and just model 3d use blender you can make your own open world and live inside of it if that's what you want to do you don't have to pay for these things like paying for like a word online is like paying for like an extra memory for your computer and like paying for like hard drive space pretty much as long as you have hard drive, hard drive space you have space right um so i don't really get the concept of like people purchasing these virtual uh uh environments these vir virtual homes uh in nft games thinking that that's how like the internet works or like that's how technology works in the first place like again you have to be like super inept to buy into these type of things that these people are selling you and again you are either inept incapable um of like thinking for yourself um or like you have like zero experience on uh game development um which I mean, it doesn't mean that you are inept if you don't have experience on game development and game design, right? It just says that you are ignorant to that to that overall like sector in a sense. Um, it doesn't mean that you are dumb. It just means that you haven't had the experience, right? So it, it, either you fall into that um, a, a category of people who don't have experience about game design and how game works in the first place, or you find you are high on copium. Uh, meaning that you know how a game works, but you still choose to like be blind, blindsided to the overall as uh, fact that like game are designed this way, but people are telling you this uh, this way is the is is how game are designed, and you've had like a thousand years of experience um, with the right way of game design, and instead of you going off that right way, you actually are taking the wrong way that they are presenting to you like either you are you are like high on copium and you fall into that category or you are just inept right and those who are inept who are dumb or whatever like like those people are not like they are not in the wrong in a sense right so they are the inexperienced people they are the inept people like those two categories those people are not like to be blamed they are not like to be judged or whatever like it's just a misfortune in this situation for them to be in those who are on copium those who already know how game uh how cash up works in games how game designers um kind of like i mean uh scammers 
how scammers uh, sell you assets like pictures and stuff and they don't they still don't deliver and even if they deliver it is in the real content right those who actually know that like who have actually experienced that and are still choosing to buy into this stuff that Intrapid is, is selling to them like those guys are the one who are supposed to be blamed those guys are the ones who are supposed to be judged for sharing false information to the inexperienced people <clears throat> and to the inept people right those guys are the people who are sharing those those bad information like those guys are the people who are re recruiting more people into their category and those people are to be judged right so if you are if you find yourself into that category um shame on you first off right and second off you have to get out of that category right being high on copium for ashes of creation is the worst the worst case scenario you can ever be in because in the end right you like you're gonna lose more than you're gonna gain and you're gonna be left out to hang dry and like dr just dry out there right um and it's gonna be like it's gonna be tragic right so first off shame on you and second off you have to get out of that situation so this here is a scenario where people are purchasing images of things that doesn't exist and now that they are they are coming to their senses a little bit they are asking when are we going to get these things and as expected right as expected right um the uh, community manager is giving them another fake uh, false information um they are giving them like like generic generic response as usual as expected right um, these people knew that they were going to get like duped right but they still went ahead and purchased those stuff and now they are they are acting as if like as if they are supposed to be handed this stuff in the first place and as usual right they are being respond they are getting the response of like generic uh answers and stuff like this so they should be accepting these responses and they should not be complaining about it because they knew that they were going to get duped and then they still went into it and then they got duped. When we go over here and we take a look at, uh, I know there have been quite a few questions regarding cosmetics over the years, over the years. And yet the cosmetics swap out each month like clockwork. So you're grinding out cosmetics, but for over 15 months, you know, one of your content creators has had a concern and really you haven't done anything to answer my concern. But what's worse than that is I don't care if you ignore me, you're ignoring your own community, my community, my right, Twitch. So, um, as you guys know it, uh, the, there's a term like uh, a saying of uh, fear of missing out. FOMO or whatever they call it um and ashes of creation is like the queen like it's the it's the company that actually coined the term uh fear of missing out because these guys are releasing pictures like different pictures every single month and people are purchasing these pictures right uh people are purchasing these nfts you know sense right uh when I say NFT, it's like purchasing an image and expecting like an, an like a actual model or an actual experience in the end, right? Um, it's like just I don't know. Anyways, every month, like these guys are releasing new images, and every month people are going out spending uh, fifty dollars, one hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, one fifty. 250 350s and stuff like that to purchase these images of stuff that are supposed to come into the game when the game itself isn't released yet right um if you play pre-order games um those games that are extremely buggy and extremely unplayable is basically this is basically another version of of playing a pre-order game right i mean even if like that is like assuming that these people get a model in the first place right that is assuming that these people get the experience after purchasing this stuff in the first place right so now that these guys are purchasing this stuff like if the game itself doesn't get released if the game doesn't um if the game itself fails right um these guys will be in the worst of worst uh case scenarios right um these guys will get like 
they'll pretty much get depressed because like they are paying so much money like $300 that's a lot of money right um, you can go right now and like purchase uh, Elder Rings or something like that um, you can purchase Dark Souls like th these are like extremely good game that are readily available for you to play they like instantly once you once you purchase them you can play them experience everything inside of them right um, you can spend those those three hundred dollars that you are you are purchasing like basic generic photos of you could spend it on an actual game and experience it right away right um, instead of uh, wasting your money on, on stuff that does that won't exist in the first place um, so every single month people are purchasing these stuff and like it's really sad because like people are doing these stuff to themselves and they know that it's not gonna work out in the end they know like somewhere in their hearts they know that it's not gonna work out but they are still doing it anyways and it's kind of sad right um, and again like those those people are like the people on copium right um, again copium being on copium is basically like the worst case you can be in uh, as I keep saying and let's just continue the video here community my discord community usually was spending five six hundred dollars a year on cosmetics most of the members of my five six hundred dollars like like I was just assuming like little numbers like earlier when I was like explaining my scenario like I stopped at 300 but actually people are spending five hundred six hundred dollars um, in addition to the three million dollars that they have already spent in funding the game right so they fund the game four times over and then there are images of things being presented to them and these people are spending six hundred five hundred dollars on these images and these images swipes every single month so imagine this like every single month people are going out there spending 500 maybe one time two times three times so like you are multiplying like these five hundred dollars by like by like hundreds of players spending this stuff and it doesn't matter and then you add that to how many times they actually spend those five hundred dollars like that's insane amount that's like really really high numbers uh going out there right so these people are making insane amount of money like the game hasn't even been released yet and these people are making like insane amount of money right so it's really gonna be sad when these people like get hit by reality like not just only like these people are spending insane amount of money on these uh on these cosmetic they also have to end up paying like monthly subscription when the game comes out right so five hundred dollars divide that by like 15 that's like several months like I'm, i don't even know how to uh do a calculation but that's that's like unimaginable right that's that's pretty much like a year or something like that uh worth of like uh, subscription that people are spending like in, in a day pretty much like I mean like these images don't look like they don't look basic like look at these images bro like these images have they are well they are well made like they look so fantastic and, and fictional and it, it they feed so much into like the imagination is crazy like look at them right like they look so amazing right um, well from my uh, programmer perspective I'm now a graphic designer I don't know like uh, like my 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 standard for like quality of art is not that like crazy right um, I don't have like that insane expectation but right now like I feel like this meets my quality of like decent art um, and so far like these look quite amazing right um, imagine like somebody who has a lot of money uh, on high on copium they wake up one day they look at these they be like damn this is so amazing man i'm gonna purchase this right they purchase it and the game haven't been released yet so they have a, an even longer time to wait for this stuff and then then the next day they'd be like oh man since i purchased these man i feel like if these ones are like they don't look good on me for like maybe like one day maybe i can swap them out to, for something else right so that's 500 gone right there and then you spend 500 dollars on this one and you'd be like man since since now that i have like these two models i might as well just complete my collection and then you spend 500 dollars again on this one and then you spend 500 dollars again on this one and then 500 dollars so <laughs> like 
like that's that's like that's how people are right um uh, that's how like the wheels are in in these uh games in mmos and th this is how like ashes of creation is like making so much money like like the amount that you think of right now that you think ashes of creation is making double that and then triple it again right that's how much they are making right now so it's it's unimaginable how much money these people are making and how little of a content they have so far right and they, they are going to drag this content out as long as they they possibly can right with the minimum product that they have just so that they can keep making more money more money more money more money right um if you guys don't believe me there's another game called uh, chronicles of Eleria. how much did chronicles make right 126 million dollars no what, what, this is something else chronicles of i don't know if i'm spelling this right okay they made 7.7 million dollars right and then it got canceled right so like spending seven point seven million doesn't doesn't if seven is spending seven point seven million doesn't guarantee you an MMO, like I don't know what else will. Right, um. So all of this amount that these guys are spending, it doesn't guarantee that they're gonna make uh they're gonna get this game um out of out of finish out of finish uh quality right. It doesn't guarantee that. And if you guys don't even believe me, there's another game called um star citizen right it's not just one example right it's not just one example two examples now guys two examples now right four million five hundred thousand dollars star citizen and this game still hasn't been uh released yet and this game is still being dragged along and people are still purchasing uh content from the in-game um cash app right um these guys are just using the game itself as a store and then selling assets into the store which is the game and people are purchasing this stuff so it's not about a game now it's pretty much about people just buying uh experience pretty much right you have the game as like the background and then you have like these assets as the experience and these players are just going in there just purchasing the experience and not experiencing the game itself not paying for the game itself right so you can spend four million dollars um i mean like from a third world country like if somebody like let's just say from a third world country perspective right four million dollars can like feed like millions of people right build houses like redesign an entire like estate like an entire like a state right if you're in the u.s like the size of of uh innovation right it could probably like hit like a state level right you can build like insane structures and stuff like that with four million dollars like people are like looking at like four million dollars as if like it's just like it's like a simple amount of money right um even like i don't even want to go deeper into this like four million dollars is insane it's a high level of, of amount and it should be enough to make an mmo and finish it inside of five months right it's been five months in actual creation and still haven't been released yet right so four million dollars and still nothing i mean uh four million dollars for for star citizen 7.7 .7 millions for um chronicle of, of Illyria that actually got canceled and this uh and this uh ashes of creation probably made a i don't know i said was it like 20 something was it three million something yeah i think it was three million three million dollars right and it been five years and they still haven't released this stuff over five years they just been selling cosmetic selling experiences like uh imagination selling stuff that feed onto the imagination of uh, people high on copium and i'm saying this because like people have already experienced being duped in the past people are still experiencing being duped with with star citizen for example 
and people will still accept the uh the corn artist uh uh approach towards them they will they will still accept it right it's like bro give me a wallet let me uh give me a wallet let me look at it right you give the person your wallet the person take five hundred dollars out of it and go and spend it and then you ask them where's my money and the person said uh well i was trying to to make more money out of the five hundred dollars that you gave me but it just failed right and then you you go away right uh and then you come back to the person the next day and the person say give me your wallet again and then even though you're you just experienced lost like you just lost like five hundred dollars you still decide to give the person your wallet again and instead of taking 500 this time the person take like a million dollars out of your wallet right and they go out again and they, they actually don't even return in the first place like you are actually like sitting now um in front of your house um on your porch like it's 12 o'clock and the person still hasn't returned with your with your money yet right um like this is what people this is the type of situation people are putting themselves into by purchasing uh, images uh nft cryptocurrency and stuff like that it's gonna be mad steven's gonna be pissed steven may be pissed but the truth of the matter is steven gave me a charge along with all the other content creators in 2018. i don't care if this communication is constructive criticism or negative express your concerns whether they are critical or positive well Steven has been a good friend of mine over the years, and I want to say, Steven, I am expressing an opinion, and I believe it is critical, and I believe it is something that you need to take a look at. Not only that, I think this is going to go hand in hand with, you have a very prohibitive paywall. This prohibitive paywall is talked about on Reddit, MMORPG.com, it's talked about in the Discord, it's talked about everywhere, and it seems like Intrepid has their fingers in their ears and their head in the sand and they don't want to address it. And what I mean by that is, each month, if you already own a cosmetic package, and if you own the highest cosmetic package, backers package, founders package, then you can buy any of the six cosmetics individually. But the problem is, is that if you only own the $75 package, then you can only buy the $5 cosmetic. And then it goes up by tiers. So in order for you to have access to buy all six of the individual cosmetics. Okay, can we just pause here for a minute, right? $375 uh, for a bundle, right? Uh, Bridge uh, Voyager plus pre order pack. Uh, this here is a bundle, uh, basically, a mixture of like all of these things in one pretty much. Um, all right, so what I wanted to pause for is to like show you guys how these characters look and I mean, how these assets look for, mo for the most part. Like, this stuff look like a uh, gear, gears pretty much. Like, this here looks like a gear in an MMO, it'll be like a gear in an MMO right so if you can pay money to look like a character who is like high level who have like complete um dungeons and stuff like that right if you can pay to look like look like that that's a problem right gears and and high level um combat style um cosmetic should be earned by playing dungeons right by by like completing content inside of the game itself it shouldn't just be purchased right um, and this is where the line between like actual accomplishment in game and just purchasing stuff, um, it kind of gets blurred, right? Um, again, progression in games is mostly about the graphics, right? Um, this is why like our, our level one uh, equipment, like our level one set, gear set, kind of look a little bit uh, dull in comparison to like a level 60 gear set. Right, all of level 60 gear set has like a higher quality uh shiny plate it has like uh color designs and all of that stuff into it and all of that stuff and that's the difference that actually like defines the progression inside of the game right so if you can get a level 70 uh level 60 design style outfit while you are at level five right it kind of devalues the uh the gears that people are gonna get in game at level 60 right so um that's one of the problem that's just one of the problem there are many many other reasons uh why cash up is a problem in uh in mmos right uh cosmetic cash up is a problem in mmos um 
apart from that, right, like, there are some people who just play the game, uh, like, they are, like, casual players who play to, like, collect stuff, right? But having stuff like this that are, like, locked behind paywall, believe it or not, like, not everybody play games just because they want to, like, uh, hit stuff, they want to, like, do the action combat step, um, the action inside of the game. Some people just play games so that they can look cool, so that they can just sit around and talk with people and just look pretty nice, uh, pretty uh, high quality. They just, they just play the game for the graphics, right? To look at stuff, right? So if you have like these type of things behind paywall, pretty much, it's like you are denying those people like an experience, pretty much. The, the type of experience that they could get if they, uh, if they pay money, you are actually denying it from them, right? Um, so yeah, so this is that's that's another reason why uh, having cash up uh, for cosmetic in uh, in MMO is a problem. Um, so let's just continue. You have to already have given Intrepid three hundred and seventy five dollars, and then if you want to buy every cosmetic, the total cost is one hundred and fifteen dollars a month. Now my problem here is that Intrepid is leaving money on the table. Intrepid ha likely has 4 million or more registered accounts and they have between 4 million registered account, bro, right? Multiply that 4 million by $500, right? We're going to be doing the math, the math today, guys. We're going to be using Google. 4 million times 5, no, no, 375, right? Let's say... Uh, uh 375 let's you know what let's not uh let's not use 4 million let's use uh just three let's just use three three million right uh because like maybe not like like about a million of people would will, will not pay for this cosmetic right but about three millions will pay for it and the number million is not it's not a small number so um yeah let's just do that and in the first place, if you are if you are like a, a fan of Ashes of Creation, you will pretty much like automatically fall in the category of people who will purchase stuff from Ashes of Creation Cash App. So that's why I'm using three million uh, for the uh, amount of people who will purchase, and one million for the people who uh, will not purchase stuff. All right. So, all right. So, how many is that? Uh, thousand. <clears throat> 125 million okay so that's one billion dollar guys one billion dollars right um this here seems like a high amount but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take it um we're gonna take it as one billion dollar because like these people like even if like these people might not be spending this money like like every single month right they won't be like purchasing this stuff like let's just say the time frame like they won the one billion dollars time frame in order for them to actually hit that mark right it's probably going to be like let's say a year or something like like not even a year like let's say uh four months right uh because like not everybody will just purchase immediately for them to get that one billion dollar right it might be like a little bit of a 375 dollars here 375 dollars there Three hundred seventy-five dollar here the other day, and over time, uh, the amount of time that has to pass for them to actually hit that one billion dollar is gonna be like five months, right? So this five, this one billion dollar is possible, and believe it or not, I'm sure this is the amount that Ashes of Creation have made so far. Um, again, it's been five years, so the chance of that occurring, right, um, is is pretty high, right? I would say it's a 90% chance um, that if you actually check the uh, the uh, total financial uh, income for behind this game, that at least a billion dollar have been uh, imported into this game. And it's been five months and the game still haven't been created yet, uh, released yet. Right, so that's a lot of money. Again, I already said that like, whatever amount that you were thinking in your head like double that and then triple it again right so we are now doing the math just to just to verify that you should double and triple the amount that you had in your head right now uh, because 
believe it or not that's that's actual re reality that's how much people are spending right now with this uh, for this game 80,000 and 100,000 backers and these are guesstimates based on previous num previous numbers and a standard growth curve now what I want to talk about here is leaving money on the table let's say that you took down their prohibitive paywall and you allowed every user to buy any individual cosmetic well you have 4 million backers that can all buy a $5 cosmetic now that's potentially 20 million dollars if everybody only buys one now if you have 4 million backers that can each buy a $25 full body cosmetic that's a hundred million dollars on the table right he's actually doing the math guys like if you are high on copium you won't actually think about doing the math right you won't actually consider the amount of people who are registered like i actually didn't know like i actually didn't consider um the amount of uh, people registered uh in this like my argument um earlier but that's just me like not doing research beforehand and stuff like that um and really like critically thinking about it like if i can just randomly just sit down here and come up with, with like with like ideas and reasons why this game is like it's just a scheme in a sense that it's supposed to like take more money from you than it will actually produce in the end as a product if i can just sit here and give you reason to do that somebody who's actually doing research like this guy for example can give you an even higher amount of uh of uh proof why this game here is a scam and why this game is extremely likely likely to fail like when i say extremely i mean like 98 percent uh certain i'm 98 percent certain that this game is going to fail and apart from the money part i'm i'm going to actually like look at the game systems and actually explain to you why these things are actually not going to work table and if you have four million backers that can each buy one of each cosmetic so they would buy a set of six for $115, that would be $460 million on the table. Now, of course, I understand that not every one of those 4 million users is going to buy. This isn't a guaranteed money. This is a potential money. And the potential for this goes completely through the roof because some of- I mean, we are looking at numbers here from the uh, people spending perspective, right? And this is like a very, very high amount. And the part where I really, I really want to shove into people's head, like the, the part that I really want people to actually look at is that the owner of this game, the main, the main, uh, the main stakeholder or whatever, the company head, the lead, the project lead of this game, people are saying that he has enough money to make the game from start to end fully complete without any support from anybody right he has the he has enough money financial income to fund the entire mmo that would take uh about six like about triple of billions of dollars right he has the amount of money to, to fund that game without any support from anybody else right it's it's just unimaginable how people can come and just say stuff like that and, and spread the word around and talk about it in every single youtube video that they make Right, because like so far, like every video I, I watched so far, uh, people are like saying uh, the the uh, the guy has like so much money that he can fund the game to completion, and then when you look at it from a real perspective, like people are actually spending money over the game itself as well, right? So it just doesn't make sense that over five years the game is still in beta phase or in a pre-alpha or whatever and people are spending this amount of money on it and it still hasn't been released yet it just it just doesn't make sense right um like it's it's really insane like like these people are like are really really high on copium like these people are like on some extra dose of copium and it's really really sad and i really can't wait to see their faces uh after they spend like over billions of dollars and the game still doesn't get released and or after they spend billions of dollars and a game get released and it looks like a chronicle of, of Illyria after uh, <laughs> after it got it got dumped pretty much uh, by the people who were, who were the scammers who were making it right so this year is a it's a multi million dollar uh, scam multi billion dollar scam and it's it's like this year is like history like these guys are making history like the 
the uh the overall organization that is putting all of this together and pulling this much amount of people uh money out of people like these guys are like the gods of scammers like they are like the legends of scammers like these people like like there should be like a history book dedicated to these people and how well they can they actually perform that craft and how uh, intelligent these people are to actually like pull a bunch of sheep and make them pay so much money without even like realizing that they are paying that that much amount of money right um it's it's crazy like i don't even know how to like exaggerate this because like it's so absurd like the overall concept is like it's like it's just another level of absurdity it's like it's pure like it's just behind me like i'm i'm pretty much dumbfounded by like all of this stuff so far some of those four million backers are going to spend a lot more than 115 dollars people in my community have said if the prohibitive paywall wasn't in 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 place they probably would have be they'd probably be at four or five hundred dollars already just in cosmetics and then they wouldn't even own the the alpha key the beta key the embers the sub time so i i don't understand why intrepid wants to leave this much money on the line now people are going to say are you sure that that's going to happen well let's look at star citizen the textbook definition of successful crowd okay so he's actually uh going to one of the examples that i already talked about and he's gonna look at star citizen here and you guys can see 452 million dollars raised and the game hasn't been released yet funding uh, so. this is one week this is one in week one week guys in one week star citizen make uh three million dollars or something like that in just one week guys like we're talking about a game that has been out for like five years right and the the, the the amount of income they are receiving is kind of hitting right and we are sp uh, comparing that to a game that been out for i don't know how star citizen been out for but we are not even thinking about it, how long it been out but we are we are comparing it to a game that actually is able to make three million dollars in one week right and it's just it's just crazy right um so when i say this game is this company is making like insane amount of dollars like this scam this scam overall like the overall scamming process is making like absurd amount of dollar like these people actually like they are supposed to be giving a, a guinness world record for like the best scam of all time the greatest scam of all time when i when i'm saying this like i actually mean that like these people should get this at work like i don't i don't know how to exaggerate this because like it's it's just so crazy like it's so crazy and I, I want people to like really really think about this and i don't even know how to like make people to think about it without like just uh explaining it in this way because like it's it's so obvious if you can actually if you actually have the capacity to like do a little bit of research and actually just sit down and crunch some numbers like it's so obvious and people are just like because they are high on copium people are just ignoring this this obvious thing and it's like so annoying it like to some people who gonna get like angry um who can get angry by like just looking at people like who like who are incapable of like understanding stuff like if you if it makes you angry right um imagine like actually looking at it from this perspective and looking at people who are still out there spending that amount of money it's it's just of crowdfunding for star citizen in one week they made 1.7 million dollars and they're selling right. tangible right. ships right. they're selling pay to win still, still million. if we look at this yeah, and we look yeah. at a seven month uh period of crowdfunding they made over 53 million dollars seven months now 53 million dollars and star citizen is a it's a niche it's a very niche game right a niche game making five uh, 53 million dollars compare that to like an mmo an mmo that is not so niche like everybody knows about mmo um like you should just double and triple that amount like that 53 million dollars just triple it to like a uh or increase it to like a high amount and multiply it by there uh, but that that's how much uh, stars it i mean uh 
Chronicle of Illyria is making. I mean, uh, how you call this? Ashes of Creation is making right now. All right. So I'm warning people, and like my overall point here is to warn people that this game is is really uh, scam heavy, and this game have has applied a lot of scam mechanics. Um, and I'm warning people because I don't want them to like to use this experience as an excuse not to buy back uh, indie Kickstarters. Uh, like they are the humble guys on indie Kickstarter on Kickstarters uh, trying to get a little bit of backing and stuff like that. And these guys are being bashed. Like their little games are being bashed because of uh, scammers like these guys. Like scammers like uh, Chronicle of Illyria uh, creators and scammers like uh, citizens, star citizen uh, creators and stuff like that. Um, and it's really sad because like these people have the capacity to like rip a lot of money out of people, um, out of gamers. And then instead of them being blamed, instead of them being punished, um, the uh, innocent uh, indie guys who like wake up day after day, work on the game, like really hard work um, they put into this game. Like they are the one being uh, punished for, for uh, stuff that they didn't do. Like it's really sad to, to see that, right? So uh, I'm saying Ashes of, uh, Ashes of Creation is making high money. And so far I'm using like all of these uh, examples, like all of these calculation to back that out and I'm saying that they are making a high amount of money because by now they shoe half a release product, right? So you guys can see this step. You make a high amount of money. That means you should have enough money to actually release a product within five years, right? That's the five year is the average amount of uh, time that an MMO take to be complete, right? Um, so if five years have been hit and you are making double or triple or quadruple the amount of amount that a typical MMO would take to actually be created like you should actually have a presentable product by now like an, an actual game that should actually be live and in production mode by now right and actual operation doesn't have that right so um, another example of actual operation is Chronicle of Illyria so Chronicle of Illyria was I mean it's was in the same situation as Ashley of Creation is in right now. So by in, by comparison and by like again by assumption, right? Ashes of Creation is gonna re repeat the same thing that we just experienced with Chronicle of Illyria, which means they will pre present you a product that isn't isn't complete. And the worst part about it is that you will have spent over billions, like maybe tr uh, trillions of dollars into this game by the time they release the product and the product will still not be complete so trillions of dollars with an incomplete product like just think about it now does more money fix all your development issues well number one steven talks about increasing the staff size from 100 to 150 now to 200. he talked about it doesn't mean that he has it he has done so it doesn't mean he he, he, he recruited about 200 people Right. Even if he recruited 200 people, that's still like not enough money to absorb, uh, absorb all the amount. I mean, that's, that's still not enough people to absorb all the amount of money that he's making. Right. That's that's like an under undercut to the uh, to the total amount that he should be recruiting. He should be recruiting like thousands of people to make this game because he's making trillions of dollars. Right. Um, trillions of dollars and then you add that trillion to the to the fact that he himself people have said that he himself is rich enough to make the game to completion without assistance right so somebody is able to make a game to completion without assistance um, and fund the game to completion without assistance um, sit, he sits right here right <laughs> and then you take trillions of dollars and give it to that person right that should like quadruple the amount of speed the speed that they are using uh the speed that they, they have right now to complete the game which means that if instead of making the game in five years they should have made this game like in three years right so if you add a trillion dollars to the to the amount of uh, money that a guy himself is making which is probably like close to a trillion dollar if you are making a game no probably to like a millions of to millions of dollars if you are making a game that big 
that should like double the trillion of dollars <laughs> that should like increase the trillion of dollars up right uh <laughs> like it's really insane that the game still hasn't been released and the game is still in pre-alpha pretty much um again i'm going to show you guys a video of somebody who spent 500 dollars to pre-test i mean to test the, the game uh beta or whatever and i'm going to show you guys the person response to that right so so much money is being dropped into this game just an insane amount of money like unbelievable amount of money is being dropped into this game and so far I've, I've, I've actually given you guys evidence of of the fact that what i'm saying about like so much money and quadruple amount of dollars is being spent into this money i've given you guys evidence about it and the game still hasn't been released yet which actually verifies and proves the fact that this game is a scam right um i still have more information to explain about this guys so let's just finish the video well guess what if you want to have 200 employees your burn rate goes up your costs go up and all i'm saying is you can make way more money without changing any part of your business model other than taking down the prohibitive paywall you'll be able to combat poaching since you can match wages you don't want to lose people to amazon game studios and everybody knows right now everybody who works in video games all right this guy is pretty pretty uh pretty much just explaining uh uh why what's uh 200 dollars is i mean 200 people is gonna do to the amount of money that they have and the sad part about it is, is that he did some numbers, but he didn't do the full amount of numbers, right? He did some math, but he didn't do the full amount of math. If he knew that actual creation is actually making trillions of dollars every single year, that um, every single year that they delete, uh, they, they, they delay the game for, he will actually increase this number. Um, he will actually not be complaining about such thing because 200 people is, is way too small. Like, it's like, it's like, 0.05 amount of the people that um ashes of creation should have working on it right so i'm just gonna forward this you may not be able to map artists the, you've got your that causes the cosmetic from that set but he is gonna buy a cosmetic i am not cosmetic and all that stuff and yeah all right that's it for um for this video and i'm gonna uh talk now about my personal uh take on additional information uh reason why this game is a scam and why this game is gonna fail right i'm gonna i'm gonna say my part of it how long has this video been probably like an hour now all right so in addition to this right from the start let's just let's go all the way to the beginning of this game creation actually of creation thingy all right so in the beginning right uh they were making a an mmo a very uh small scale mmo or whatever uh they did a kickstarter and all that stuff and it made millions of dollars right in the beginning and stuff like that they were still working on the game but right that was the first time they attempted and they were going to scam the uh the ashes of creation community the, the guys on copium that was the first time they were going to scam it they were just going to scam you for three million dollars and that was going to be fine right all right but instead of that they actually decided to increase the amount even higher for them to scam you with uh scan you for and this is how it happened right so they started with a small amount uh small uh small game right they they got three million dollars right they were going to shut it down but they decided to uh d do a little bit of test um no, they were going to shut it down. And in that process of shutting it down, they were going to use an excuse of like uh, the battle royale that they created. So they were making a game and then they decided to make a, a battle royale, right? To get even more money. And their excuse was that they wanted to test the combat of the of the game uh, by creating a battle, battle royale. So they pretty much split up the game into two, two, uh, two separate clients. Right, so that they can make even more money, right? And once they uh, did a battle royale stuff, um, all right. So I'm not just gonna just gonna call, um, jump to the to the conclusion of it, right? So the game itself that it, they were making um, had a really really decent uh, cash app. Okay, <laughs> I told you, um, you guys might have been thinking that I was gonna say it was a decent game, right? It wasn't a decent game itself. The cash app, however, it was well designed, 
right? The cash out well designed uh, why the game itself had like a crazy uh, amount of frame drops and stuff like that in it, and it was pretty much unplayable, right? Even though the game itself was unplayable, the cash app was very well designed, very smooth, and everything you could go there and purchase whatever you want to purchase. Um, because their overall goal was to make money, right? Not to make the game, but to make money. And that was the same scenario with the Battle Royale. The Battle Royale, as for the Battle Royale, the mechanics, the combat mechanics was okay. It was a little bit sticky. It was a little bit uh, clunky in a sense, but it was okay. Um, and the Battle Royale itself, when I say okay, it wasn't that good, right? Uh, people played it, uh, they experienced crashes, uh, they experienced frame drop as well. And the same thing also uh, happened into the Battle Royale. The cash shop itself in the Battle Royale was amazing. Smooth cash shop. You go in there, you can purchase, you can spend how, any amount of money you want to spend in there. And you won't have any problem going through the process. Right, so two clients, two different cash shops, the cash app worked pretty fine, the game itself doesn't work fine. Right, so that was the overall like point. I mean, that's that was the overall scheme so far that they were gonna do uh, with the game. But then the company itself came up with another idea on how to scam people. Right, because the guys on Copium for the game itself were still asking the, the, the uh, company to scam them. Right, even though they were experiencing scam in that in that very moment where the game had two clients and two cash out that were working pretty fine, they were spending a lot of money on it. Um, they still decided to beg the company to scam them even further. Right. And they did this by like talking about how they wanted to play the game itself, the MMO itself. Instead of them just stopping there, they didn't stop there. They begged the company to come back and scam them even more on the game itself, on the MMO itself. So, in response, the uh, the scammers right created a new strategy, created a new strategy around the uh, the ideology of the uh, of the guys on Copium, right? Um, since they knew that they couldn't make the game itself, but they, they, they actually had people who wanted to freely give them money, they decided to uh, continue the game development process, right? And this is where you, you guys actually get the Ashes of Creation, the, the recent Ashes of Creation that you guys are experiencing right now. This is how you guys got it. Um, so uh, streamers like uh, Asma Go and all of these guys who never had a chance to go all the way back into the root of this game itself, the uh, this game development, this scam process itself. Um, those who got those of you guys who didn't get the uh, the opportunity to experience all of that, um, now you know, right? So now we have Ashia of Creation, right? Um, Ashia of Creation itself was made with the uh, with the overall idea that they are going to feed the guys on Copium, they are going to feed them imagination, imaginative stuff, uh, images, right? Uh, uh, how you call it? Uh, NFT stuff, cryptocurrency and stuff in a, in a sense, right? Um, that's how it was made. It was made that they were, they were made in the sense that they were going to, to sell you guys this stuff. And as long as you guys keep paying, right? They will continue to delay the process of the game. Right, that's how that's how the overall scam is working right now. Right, that's how it was it was designed. Uh, that was the stage two of the uh, scamming phase. Right, um, there might be a stage three. Nobody knows. But as for now, we got we are actually experiencing stage two of the scamming phase, and it's 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 really it's really crazy. Right, so, um, so in order to to fully furnish this to in order for them to fully polish this experience uh they came up with the idea of i mean they came up with the uh overall documentation that the guy who is making this game has enough money to to fund the game from uh development to production right again <laughs> okay right point one is that the guy has enough money to fund the game from from development to production right and then point two is that Ashes of Creation is going to have an insane amount of content, right? Um, Ashes of Creation is not going to be like any other MMO. It's going to be open world. 
it's going to be it's going to have insane amount of content in a sense that there is going to be for example there's going to be 60 62 classes right different classes in the game and then there are going to be nodes right and each of these nodes are going to have like uh different uh mechanics to them uh different design to them and they're going to be responsive in their own ways and stuff like that and players will interact with them differently and these nodes will like evolve in different ways uh each time uh a lot of content right pretty much like all of that adds to like a lot of content uh, and the guys on copium when they hear content it like increase their copium level a little extra right so these two things that these guys are saying uh so far these two points right a lot of content and a and a and uh shareholder that makes like insane amount of money to fund the game these two things are actually lies because just before then just before they actually released that document they had a situation where there were two clients because they couldn't make enough money to fund the game itself right they had to make another content uh another client they bought a royale so that they can make enough money to fund the game even though they said that the uh steven shaif guy is making enough money to fund the game from development to production right that's that's one uh contradiction right there the second contradiction um it isn't like what they uh actually created um uh, but just by looking at the game experience right the game design itself right the game was actually crash um was actually trash right the gameplay was actually trash and the combat in the game was actually trash right even though they said that actual creation is going to have like action combat it's going to have a combat style that uh nobody have, have ever experienced before it's going to be a hybrid and there are people actually right now making youtube videos saying that um actually of creation have actually solved combat systems and actually of creation has solved pvp actually of creation is the god of the universe and it is save every it's going to save the mmo drum genre and stuff like that even though there are people making stuff like that right now um clip based stuff like that on youtube Right. The reality is that Ashes of Creation developers do not know how to make game uh, games and the attempt that they made on uh, Action Combat in the past, um, their real attempt at making Action Combat actually failed. And it didn't fail one time, it failed twice. Right? They made it in the in the MMO itself, right? The pre-alpha MMO itself and it failed. And then they made it into a battle royale which the, the version that they thought that it was it was going to be better and the version that they are actually using into the mmo right now and it actually failed right so people have actually experienced this and it actually failed twice right not one time two times right and people are out here making youtube videos saying that actual creation has solved the uh, combat system uh problem in mmos in the mmo genre right so those that's that's just like two two evidence of like the scammy uh, mentality that is going on so far right the third one is the game design itself right i'm going to incorporate everything in the game design into one stuff because i want to end this video as soon as possible right so the game design itself node system right um first off people are being teleported outside of nodes and every single time like something changes it's going to teleport you outside of the uh outside of the map and stuff like that right this is going to be super annoying when the, to some people right uh like when i play mmos i really don't don't care about a lot of stuff i only care about uh, combat and game balance right and we're going to talk about that uh, but for those people who who like to role play uh those people who just like to chill when they play mmos right um being teleported every single time like there's a new update um to the node system like being teleported all around the map that's going to be quite annoying right and that's also resource intensive on the networking itself um knowing like every people everybody positions and like teleporting them outside um especially in a game that ha actually has body blocking right i think actually creation has body blocking right so imagine being being uh, teleported in the middle of like five in the middle of like 500 people right or like or 50 people for example 
and they are all body blocking you and your allies are like maybe they are going somewhere or something or you guys are about to go somewhere and you cannot regroup with them because you are stuck in the middle of like of like a bunch of people just body blocking you right that's going to be quite annoying all right so we're not even going to talk about that right let's talk about the game design itself uh there are going to be 62 ish classes in the game right 62 is is not it's not a small amount of, of uh of class of uh uh to recrafting uh designs pretty much of builds pretty much right i play neverwinter right uh let's see Let's look up uh, six. All right, I was gonna look up my name in uh, in Neverwinter, but I've played Neverwinter and uh, Neverwinter is uh, it's an action combat, like a little bit of a hybrid action combat MMO, right? Uh, a fully action combat MMO is a uh, it's an MMO where like you can attack and then move, like you can move while attacking. That's like action right there, right? Nothing limits you. In Neverwinter, uh, some attacks kind of like lock you, roots you in place. So, and some attacks doesn't, right? So, it's a hybrid. Um, actually, like since there aren't like a lot of MMOs that actually like have a, a loose combat uh, type of system, uh, system, I think Neverwinter itself is a it's an action combat MMO because it's like the highest level um, level of uh, action combat that you can get in an MMO. So I'm gonna say Neverwinter is an action combat MMO, not just a hybrid. Um, in comparison to like other genres, it's a hybrid, but in comparison to like MMOs within its genre, uh, in, in comparison with other games inside of the MMO genre, it's, a, it's an action combat. All right, so I was the best uh, assassin or rogue in, the, uh, in, in this game for, until like mod 16 pretty much when it when the developers really decided to uh to make the game completely pay to win right uh again cash up in an mmo always leads to destruction right uh so uh even if it is convenient or not right uh so here's a a video a little bit of video of uh of builds uh being implemented my build uh, being really doing anything besides against, standing next uh, against uh, another uh, high level uh, rank player, right? Um, this here is a rank match, and I don't know if this is the right match. If it is the right, uh, and this guy is playing like a tanky ish character, like a fighter uh, type of character, a berserker type of character. If you guys play MM, uh, water wall crab or something and he's a pretty uh all right I wonder if this is the right good make sure he does not lift me up in the air Hulk smash it really fast all right we're good all right oh my god that damage what do i do chat okay, what do damage. i do i have my shield up and i'm still taking damage He's nuts. Um, this game is pay to win, by the way. Uh, at this point, it was still pay to win. Um, so people here, uh, most people will have, uh, and it also had like something like a subscription type of thing going on. Uh, VIP, it was the subscription for the game, but it was a loose, loose subscription for the game. The same thing with Ashi subscription as well. Uh, but it's a hardcore uh, subscription in actual creation, fifteen dollars. Uh, even though most games these days are actually like five dollars subscription is is pretty much the highest. I mean, uh, pretty much the medium, pretty much or ten dollars subscription, right? Actual creation is fifteen dollars subscription. So not only are you paying trillions of dollars, after you pay trillions of dollars, you're gonna have to sustain that by paying fifteen dollars every month in order to play the game. Freaking nuts! If it comes out. Ooh, I think. All right, all right, all right. There's bats around me. <laughs> That's not cool. I'm gonna hide for the time being until I can heal a little bit. 
Oh my god, now we got an HR or something. Alright, that's me right here. Oh no. There's bats right. around me. <laughs> that's um, not cool. Stop my Hulk Smash animation. Yo, so... where's my teammates? Where's my team? Alright, that's me Oh my me god, right now here. we got an HR or something. And I'm attacking. Oh no, I'm dead. I am dead. And that's me right there, attacking again. As you guys can I'm see, dead. I'm completely invisible Thank for like... Several guys, minutes. I need your help. I still haven't showed up. All right, and I, I need to run up. like now. This yeah. is no good. Like, that was pretty yes, much like yes. maybe four Rudy or five up. minutes. I went invisible for. Um, all right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna like summarize this. Let's go, much. team. Let's, let's just watch the video. Oh no, why well, am I'm not uh, healing off my, uh, at all? Like, I jumped into the water on my uh, into you guys face for a little bit. So I went invisible again, or I'm out All of right. sight for now. No, oh, the shot. Go. And I got a kill. Uh, I'm gonna forward this a little bit again. I can't. Wait, so. Or in fact, we could just go down here and heal, to be honest. There you go. All right, his hammer didn't do anything to me whatsoever. I want to show you guys something. Yeah, I don't have enough armor pen in order for me to be able to, uh, to actually kill him. I would have to go to mounts and then change this to that. Oh Jesus! Okay. <laughs> That's been doing damage okay. to the. Uh, so now I'm gonna take extra damage because I did that. Tank, right. Um, I'm a free-to-play player, which me I have. See that? See I mean, that? I have like limited resources, but. Oh, well, I'm dead now. I'm able likely. to make a build that does this amount of damage to breaker, somebody so who is like. That's not really gonna help me. Pretty much like the best, the highest. Uh, at the highest level of uh, <laughs> I am definitely dead of a fighter type uh, yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. Uh, he's like pretty much like if there were like two uh, best tanky character or fighter t style character who's supposed to be strong in a game, he's probably like one of those guys. Those so, guys uh, if I can make a build that does this amount of damage, yo, private Jimmy man, have yourself a good night. Right, With I know free, you probably got to go to school uh, tomorrow. Account. It's pretty late for right, you. Imagine what other people can. Uh, Yo, German, what's like, happening, dude? That's, uh, this game looks very familiar. Yeah, Wiley Gamer, good. my dude. I was actually just talking about you earlier. How you like to play on your remote control? Okay. And I uh, like to sit on. Your oh my God! Now we got an HR or something. Oh no! I'm dead. I am dead. All right. I think I don't think I'm able to share with you guys the uh, part. I'm dead. I'm getting it's pretty crazy all right so up here we do have an SW and all right, a TR. This, is it, this, is it, this is the part the TR is behind all right. me no ouch right, the shocking execution hits shocking hard execution. bro That's my ult. holy shit and then I make a full rotation and I can't even take that GG there oh is. my god I cannot see this the TR at all like he's just invisible the all the time for it is ouch years. I'm a free player in a pay-to-win game. I was invisible for such a long time. <laughs> right. <laughs> and this guy is even complaining about my build, right? I don't have enough resources to make a decent build. I was invisible for such a long time. I'm able to make a, a build time. that is this annoying to a, play to a player who is pretty goes. much a veteran and has like all the resources in the game that you, you can get. Right. And all this time, you never Dude, done a single. I don't know why I'm not healing at all. Like my heals are so bad. Damage. I have very low heals. Right. I know he's gonna try to sneak. All right, so that's an example of a build, right? Of the of the uh, type of influence like your build can have in a game, right? Um the difference it can make right that's an example of it right i'm a free player in a pay-to-win game i have limited amount of resources 
but I can compete against the pay to win guys or uh, guys who are like fully decked out of guys who have VIPs and stuff like that. And I'm able to like pretty much like win against them most of the time, right? Um, because of my build, I'm able to do that, right? You are playing a game called Ashes of Creation, right? And they are like 60, they are like 62 different classes, right? And I'm saying this because like, I'm not the only person who is able to build my character in the, in the best way, um, in the best possible way, right? There, there's going to be like 60, 62 extra, um, like 62 chances of people like building their character in a way that is like super high level me max type of thing going on right so 62 means like different combi combination of uh, of uh of builds right and then you're going to add that right not only is the is the build going to be a problem you're going to add that to items like the gears that the people that um that the players are going to have right um again you know in a world in a world as massive as ashes of creation we are thinking about like uh over a thousand different type of gears that you can get right uh weapon type armor type um and all of these armors and weapons they also have their own buffs and stuff like that right so this is like this is a, an actual gamer right I'm, I'm i'm i gave you guys this video and i show you guys my my gameplay because I want to tell you guys that I've actually played before, right? I play at, at a higher level than normal in an environment that is even suited for a, a, a player um, in my category as a free-to-play player, right? I play at a, at a higher level with limited resources, right? And I'm able to make a build that is that annoying to people, right? And we are going to be put into a setting where... Um, resources is not going to be limited to anybody because you guys are paying subscription and stuff so resources is going to be available to everybody which means every single person playing that game has the potential to make a bill at a very very high level right um again it's going to be millions of people right so the the, the amount is, is not that's going to be limited to like 500 people who knows how to play that character super well we're talking about millions of people who know how to play that character pretty well right and then you have 62 builds and you have uh, thousands of different gears and on those gears there are, there are individual stats that that can be proc right they're individual passive right uh most most mmos have uh, passive on gears right so you're gonna have to balance all of that stuff the main point here is that i'm gonna say i'm saying is that balance in actual of creation is 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 impossible it's going to be impossible because the amount of stuff that they're going to have to work with is just so massive that it's just inconceivable like how how difficult it's going to be for them to balance it right uh so so that's what i'm going to say um you add that to buffs and then you add that to potions right uh because mmo also have potions that if you drink it gives you additional buff right you add a potion to the procs on uh, the passive for the gears and then you add that to the to the armor and then you add that to the player level the player like experience like the skill level of the player right um all of that stuff it just can't be balanced right and ashes of creation people are saying that ashes of creation has solved the problem with uh, combat in MMOs and actual creation is going to be a decent experience for everybody. Um, it's going to be the best MMO that anybody have ever played, right? And then uh, when they are saying that, you can actually like look at how much build is going to be possible, like how much uh, classes are going to be possible and stuff like that. And then they're going to they actually said that they're going to be going to be like subclasses and stuff like that. So different combination and all that stuff. So Apart from money, apart from the fact that even though they have so they are pulled so much money, they are still lying to you guys about the amount of content that is going to be possible in the game. You also have the balance lies, right? That they are also saying. So even if the game gets created, right? Even if you can play the game, the game is going to be so unbalanced, so unbalanced that you won't be able to play for like three days or like like a week or whatever right um 
even if you can play even if you can turn your brain off and play it for that amount of time you won't be able to play it for like a thousand uh no not thousand for like uh 500 hours right because at that point like you'll probably like hit end game or something like that and you'll probably like have like a, a general idea of like your character and all that stuff right and even if you can get through like even if you can you can turn your brain off to the balance of the game right there are also limitation in the game right um, again they have cash app and they have uh they have a major mayor system uh or government type system where like uh certain content are limited to certain amount of people right uh flying flying mouse and stuff like that so uh people who are able to have flying mouse means that they can progress faster right so a guy with a flying mouse is pretty much like having an extra vip in uh in neverwinter for example he's able to get from point a to point b super fast while you guys are walking walking on your foot um he's able to get all of this stuff and which means that he can control the market if he chooses to because he'll be able to get all these resources as, as fast as possible uh which means he will be able to control the market and if you have people like that in the game and they are like just a tiny amount of people the game actually becomes like a how do you call this uh monopoly right it's the, the the entire the entire uh business the entire economy in the game becomes monac monopoly where like uh the amount of money that you have to spend on a on a on an item in a sense uh is actually determined by a set few amount of people right so if these guys des decide for one day that if uh you guys are going to buy your shoes uh for like 500 uh in-game currency right and they put that onto the uh onto whatever product that they are able to mass produce and you guys need those shoes in order for you to be able to compete against other players you will have to pay that 500 dollars uh 500 in-game currency or gold or whatever right so monopoly is a very big problem in uh in the real world and then you're going to add that into the game itself um it's going to it's going to be like even a massive issue for everybody right um so i'm just like i really don't know what else to say to like explain how impossible it's going to be for this game to to come out and be a good game or for it to come out in the first place um after five years the game is still in pre-alpha um so i'm going to show you guys a video of somebody who pay 500 dollars to play test uh ashes of creation uh review oh uh review i guess reaction wait it's over tries i should have creation review after test 500 uh man i, I can't find a video all right i'm gonna wrap the video up here uh i should have figured out about review after I really want to, to show you guys this video that was uh, for, is it worth it Hey guys, welcome back for another Ashes of Creation video, and it's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. Uh, sorry about not being around for the past couple days. It's been kind of hectic, but I wanted to do this video because the Alpha 1 test is going to be for a month long, and there's a little restrictions. We'll go into that. All right, this is another video. Uh, Ashes of Creation. Oh man, I don't think I'll find a video. Ashia of Creation, let me just say Ashia of Creation sucks. Ashia of Creation is there, there we go. So this was eight, eight months ago, not far, I mean not long ago. Uh, 2021, it's 2022, so. 
Hey guys, welcome to the new Hot Tudago YouTube channel. We're very excited for the start of this channel where we can transition a lot of our work from Twitch onto the YouTube platform. Uh, as a new content creator, uh, if you can, hit that subscribe button, hit the like, uh, it would greatly, greatly be appreciated. Uh, we recently had the opportunity to try out Ashes of Creation during its <laughs> Alpha 1 playtest and wanted to get a video together to express my thoughts and concerns about this game going forward. Before we get started, I wanted to express that I'm one of the biggest Ashes of Creation fans. He was on Copium, guys. He is he is trying to tell you guys that he was one of the guys on Copium until he got to experience the game for himself. Um, apart from experiencing the game, until he actually sat down and used his own brain and think about it. Experience. I heard about this ga game through the excitement of the Kickstarter, but it was at PAX East in 2018 when I was able to meet Steven, the CEO of Intrepid, and talk to him for a good 20 minutes just about MMOs and what we wanted to see in the MMO industry. It was refreshing to be able to talk to a developer and see the passion about gaming and what we were missing in the MMORPG genre. I think a lot of us are extremely excited about the potential of Ashes and the story. Anybody will be excited about the imagination by their imagination, right? You can sit with somebody and just talk about MMOs and like what you wish could be in an MMO. But in reality, there are like so many systems and so many uh, rules that you have to follow when you are designing a game that those things that even though you can think about them, like implementing them is, is gonna be like insanely impossible or like very, very difficult to do. And they're gonna take like insane amount of time to actually accomplish them. Um, that you're just going to give up on making the MMO itself, right? So you can sit down with somebody and like just imagine stuff and like brainstorm, like just put a bunch of ideas together. Like idea is anything. Like anybody can sit down and give you like billions of ideas about how MMO should be designed, but not anybody can just sit down and make an MMO, right? That has been sold to us. I was given an Alpha Zero key during that time and was able to try out the game and went into the game knowing that this is an Alpha and there's not going to be much for us to play through. It has been only, it's been in development for only two years at that point. And to be honest, I was very impressed with the game. The world and graphics looked much better than I expected and even some of the animations were pretty solid. There wasn't much to the actual gameplay, but that was to be expected. Unfortunately, that was back in 2018, and we are almost in 2022, and we were able to get our hands on the Alpha 1 version of this game. After three years of development, I went into this Alpha expecting to see more of a game than, than what was there. Before I go into my criticisms of the game, let me express the things I like about the game. I'm not going to go into things that we expect to be in the game, just the things that actually are in the game after five years of development. The world is beautiful. There's been plenty of content creators and the footage that you can see of the game. You can see that the world looks immersive and makes you want to wake up and just explore it. The music in the game is very epic, uh, but after a few hours of the same song, it can get pretty stale. There's so many well-designed monsters and environmental pieces that are really nice to see in an alpha. The lighting is fantastic, skill out animations, although too flashy at some points, really show what a next-gen MMO can look like. The best part of the game right now... Right, how do you tell if somebody is not like a... Like a... There's an old in time, like there are two categories of like MMO players. They are like the actual veterans, and then they are like the, the modern day uh, inexperienced, pretty much, like the youth type of MMO players. The difference between the two type of players is that one, the veterans, right? They play MMO for like the actual mechanics and the actual like lore or whatever um, of the game. And then if you compare that to the casual guys, I mean, um, not a casual, like there's, they are like veteran casuals as well, right? Uh, if you compare them to like the modern, modern MMO players who don't know how MMO are supposed to be, or who don't really know what MMO is in the first place, um, you will actually see that these guys are really into the game because it looks pretty, right? It looks flashy and it looks pretty. Like that's the two team that you, two things that you got to feed to these guys and you will have them on your side, right? Like these are the youth, like they don't know what an MMO is. And the only thing they care about is that the games, like it has nice water physics the water fixes in the game looks nice and the uh graphics of stuff in the games looks nice 
right? And uh, the particles are like super flashy, like they are so flashy that they can almost blind you, right? Um, that's why these guys actually like, if you play MMO for a long time, you actually know that those two things are not important to the MMO. Uh, the overall concrete concept that actually make the MMO is the, uh, like the systems inside of the MMO, not the graphics of the MMO, it's the system inside of the MMO is probably the mounts that are in the game. Every mount has unique skills, even water mounts, and they are all beautiful in the game. Wow. That is a big boy. That's a chonk. Wait, you guys think he's a chonker? He kind of is. Asmago is doing this because like, he has people viewing his uh, content and this type of stuff here is media, right? He's, he's appealing to his audience, right? And so his content is going to be super casual like this. But in reality, if Ashi, um, if Asma go actually start playing Ashes of Creation, he won't be playing it because of this, uh, because of the Ram looking this uh, chunker or whatever. He's not going to be playing it because of chunker mount. He's going to be playing it because he want to, he want to gear up. He want to be able to do those high level uh, content, those high level dungeons, and he want to come out of like those tier five ranks uh rings those ts5 like gear armor set and whatever uh legendary gears and stuff like that that's what he's going to be playing it for but right now he's actually just uh appealing to his audience and just having fun right this is this is just a casual time for him right so asma go being at this point in this in this uh video doesn't mean that he's a he's a he's a youth uh mmo player he's a, actually, I'm also i should player. add that performance wise i didn't have any issues Unfortunately, that's where my positives end on the game. Going into the alpha, I'm expecting to find bugs, so that part of the game doesn't bother me. I'm completely fine with it. Falling through the world and entering into underground water half the times I log in, that's fine. Dismounting from my horse and instead of having an animation, I just throw it through the world, fine. Completely bugged and broken quests, fine. Having a stamina system in the system, system's not working. He's saying fine because he was a little bit on copium game uh, with no stamina bar fine uh, bad or clunky placeholders for the UI such as the map inventory and questing UIs it's fine sometimes you would turn into a horse that probably was the highlight of my 20 hours of gameplay those are things I expect in an alpha that's the purpose of the alpha my issue are on the things that were completely not in the game after five years uh, just entire systems that were promised in the game that we aren't even able to test because they're not in the game. Uh, first, let's get into the combat of the game. I've played the Alpha Zero version of this game and the Battle Royal version of... Right, so this guy is the guy who was actually with Ashes of Creation from the beginning, right? So this guy is actually a little more experienced. He actually have a little bit of background and he's more of a of a confidant, right? Like somebody you can actually talk, uh, trust. Like he's uh, he's an expert when it comes to the topic of Ashes of Creation because he been there from the start. He even paid five hundred dollars, right? Um, I'm actually not an expert in compared to this guy because he has actually he actually been in there, right? He been uh, he does the he's done the hands on experience type of thing, right? Um, paying $500 just to experience this game, right? Um, something that I, 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 I didn't do and I actually would not do uh, ever, ever to any game, pretty much. $500, like this, I could order like a bunch of McDonald's for like several months without like, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like, but he actually spent $500 just to experience this. So you should actually take his opinion seriously because he's an expert. He actually even been here from the start. Right, so um... Ashes of Creation. And this is probably the worst iteration of combat that has been released. Action combat in this game currently is a joke and might as well be removed. Whether you are playing a range class or melee, you need to highlight over your target. As I said earlier, the uh, combat in the game been trash for the first test, which was the game, the second test, which was the Royale, and then the third phase which is this game actually. And then press the left click to auto attack. If your cursor isn't over the target and you're not getting that red reticle, you get no animation, your skills will not cast, which looks and feels horrible. To make things worse on melee, 
If you are up close and holding down your auto attack button, you will not even be able to use skills as your auto attack will take priority over skills. This should be something that's very easy to fix, but the fact that it's being playtested and they haven't made a simple fix like that is a glaring design issue. When you are in tab target mode, the combat feels better, but your auto attack is now switched to Q, which for mage or range class doesn't feel too bad, but spamming Q on a warrior feels horrible and makes the class unplayable. In terms of enemy AI, there were some animations and telegraph, but farming mobs was a pretty brain dead experience. But you know, I like brain dead experiences, so that wasn't a big issue for me. Uh, the dungeons in this game were open world and had no content in them. It's tough to review and report bugs for content in this game because like I- All right guys, I'm gonna end the uh, video here, but I think I've uh, given you guys enough information. So do as you will. Uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up, share it with your friends so they don't get uh, too high on copium for ashes of creation. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.